this is is another way to find more angles that you can find the exact value. That's all it is. I'm going to give you the uh, double angle formulas, and then we're going to work some problems. We're going to work some going one way and some going the other. Okay? And you all are frowning at me, but I do believe it's a little bit easier than Fridays. Because, well, for one, you all don't like those identities, right? Okay. Double angle means two times, doesn't it? So my first identity is sine of 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta. That one's simple enough, isn't it? Well, yeah, well, just to read the identity doesn't, but when we work at it, you'll be okay, I think. All right, the second one is tangent. Tangent of 2 theta is equal to 2 tan theta over 1 minus tan squared theta. I saved cosine for last because cosine has three identities. And you can use any of the three. Doesn't matter. Do these kind of go with the other? Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh. So three of them for cosine. The first one, cosine of 2 theta, is cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. It's also equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. It's also equal to 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. So how can this one equal something different? Because you can substitute in place of like cosine squared, 1 minus sine squared, uh, or this one in place of sine squared, 1 minus cosine squared. Uh, That's all they did. All right. So if I tell you Do you want me to, to be? Oh, we don't need an easy one, do we? You're going to understand it. It's not going to be. I'm trying to see how much, how many radicals they gave you. Is what I was trying to tell. And if I needed to give you a radical one. You know, I just want to... <laughs> okay. Let's say... You all have these memorized, by the way? I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Just curious. Sine of theta is two thirds. Let's do negative two thirds. And it is in quadrant three. What I want to find first is the sine of two theta. All right? Can you draw the can you draw the triangle? What quadrant's it in? Okay. So over here, this is theta, right? What do I know? Okay. 
What do I know about that triangle? Uh, the outside is negative 2. Okay, so what's this one? And the radius is 3. Well, hypotenuse, yeah. yeah. What's my other side? Um, it's square 9 minus 4 would be square root of 5. Negative. That's what I wanted to make sure you all realized it was negative. All right. How do I find sine of 2 theta? Isn't it 2 sine theta cosine theta? So 2, what is sine of theta? Negative. What is cosine of theta? Okay. Everybody agree with what I just did? Yeah. I haven't lost anybody. Nobody's okay with it. All I do now to get my answers multiplied. What's my numerator? Uh, it's I think it's 4 radical 5. Because I just multiply the numbers outside the radical and the numbers inside the radical. What's my denominator? Uh, 9. And that's my answer. Uh, is the, is the, the square root of 9 the square root of 9? Uh huh. Okay. That's what I, so when you said, okay, we're finding sine theta, I was like, I was assuming we were finding it to figure something else out. No, no, we just found sine 2 theta. Fine. You're good? Okay, what if I took the same problem and asked you to find the cosine of 2 theta? Does, does it matter which variation of cosine it, you do? It does not. You will get the same answer. I generally use cosine squared minus sine squared. Just because I pick one that I use more than anything. Okay? I know what cosine is. I know what sine is. Don't I? Yep. So isn't cosine 2 theta equal to negative radical 5 over 3 squared minus negative 2 thirds squared? Is that right? Okay, so what is this number right here? Five ninths minus four ninths. So what is my answer? One ninth. And that is cosine of two theta. Now we're going to find tangent. Are you following what I'm doing? Wait. Wait, what? Oh, I understand. Is this easier? Yes. All right. <laughs> tangent of 2 theta. What is tangent of 2 theta? Two tan theta over one minus tan squared theta. So okay, so is that two? two times What's tangent of theta? Radical five over five. Is she right? <laughs> over one minus. If tangent, wait, is that tan, that's not tan theta. It should be a 2, shouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I knew I didn't write something right. So is this 2 radical 5 over 5 squared? Right? 
which is 4 radical 5 over 5 over 1 minus 4 fifths. the first part. Is that okay? No, of what we, we're doing. Okay. Now I told you we were going to go the other way, right? So if I give you a problem, I'm going to give you this problem. Cosine squared pi over 8 minus sine squared pi over 8. Is that one of the formulas? Yes. Yeah. Cosine 2 theta? Yeah. Cosine 2 theta? Yes. Yeah. You all agree? <laughs> so is, what's theta? Cosine two times pi over eight. What's cosine of pi over four? What's cosine of pi over four? Uh, and that's my answer. You okay with that second kind, or you want another one? You want well, okay. Let me do it quickly, because um, I tangent one always seems to be the hardest. Am I right? Two tangent sixty-seven point five degrees over. Might as well do a degree one. One minus tan squared. 7.5. Is that one of the formulas? Yes. Which one? Tan 2 theta. Tan 2 theta. What is theta? 57.5. You agree? Mm -hmm. So is this the tangent of 2 times 67.5 degrees? It's what, Chandler? So this is the tangent of 135 degrees, which is in what quadrant? It doesn't make this 45? No. Is it, well, is it, isn't this 1, negative 1, and this radical 2? So it is negative 1? Make sense? Is this easier? You all like it when I put numbers in it, don't you? Yeah. Okay? That's the whole lesson. That's the whole lesson. This is tough. Uh huh. I maybe go to the nurse. I kind of got a headache. Uh, hang on, I, I can't send you without calling. Got it. I don't know how I'm going to. 
Somebody in there that they think happened, they don't want you to come in. <laughs> Got it. That's why I had to call. I don't want to set him up for exposure. 